So this beautiful woman made a video about um, an experience that her friend had when her friend found out that her boyfriend or her fiance actually was on the DL. Now this is a Jamaican woman and she has an accent and I guess people have been stitching her video and making fun of her accent, but she is letting them know that it's perfectly fine. She is making money off of it. So here's her video when she first started talking about um, DL men dating women and the whole story time. So I am about to, in the comments, if you're on TikTok, I'm going to put her two videos um, in the caption so you guys can watch it. If you're on YouTube, here come her two videos where she's talking about how she and her girlfriend came up, um, came to understand or know that her um, that the friend's man was on the DL and what happened after that. So go ahead and watch these videos. It's definitely a tale to see. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. To the men out here that are DL and have the nerves to go on date with women and try to have some form of relationship with them and not being honest with them, I promise you deserve the day you deserve. You deserve everything that's bad that's coming to you. I just got off the phone with my Asian friend that we found out a few years ago that her fiance was in a whole full-blown relationship with his so-called best friend. I told this story before a long time ago. It should be on my page. And the trauma that that one guy left with my friend is disgusting and i wish i could see him right now so a little backstory my friend and i was going to have seafood one day and she forgot her credit cards and stuff so and i was like i'm gonna pay for her food and but she wanted to go downtown houston to go have drinks i don't drink but she wanted to go with some of her friends and i was like okay i'll tag along so she wanted to go get her credit card on her id because she left her wallet at home when we went there so the house, we noticed that the friend car was there. I saw the look on her face and I know something was wrong. I knew at that moment something is wrong and she knew something was wrong, but she couldn't put two and two together. I met this particular friend before and I did not like him. The reason why I did not like this guy is because we was in the restaurant and we was all eating. Me, him, my friend and her fiance at the time was eating and this gay couple came in and they had the nerve to be talking trash about this gay couple. Like they just wasn't with it they talk really bad about gay people all the time they never feel anytime they see someone that's gay they talk trash about them so that's why i never liked this friend because the fiance wouldn't do it unless the other friend is there so we pull up to the driveway and she did a pause like she did not want to go inside of the house so i was like okay come on let's go so when we got into the house we heard noise like people doing the do noises right so i'm like what the heck is going on so i'm thinking that they're watching the pee y'all know what i'm talking about and no they wasn't doing nothing like that they wasn't watching anything like that when we walked to the room she walked in and she opened the door they were doing their thing the two friends her fiance and his friend yes they were doing the do tell me why the guy and the fiance kept doing what they were doing finish off and then the, the friend walked off the bed past us walked in the kitchen got something to drink the fiance walked past us and went outside to the friend did not acknowledge my friend at all and you think that won't affect her when it comes to like future relationship it's been affecting my friend and it's been years it's been over five years so please, if you're any guy or woman that's do the DL or live that DL lifestyle, be honest with your partner before they step into something serious with you. Because you don't know the trauma that can affect this person for the rest of your life. My friend is suffering from this right now. She met this one good guy and because of that, she have trust issues. When you guys chose to do these things and you decided that you wanted to go be in a relationship with somebody that you know won't approve of that type of lifestyle and you are not honest with them, that is selfish. You're setting that person up for pain, for hurt. You don't care about that person if you're not being honest with that person. You guys are disgusting. And I'm going to say, y'all are disgusting. However you choose to live your life, that is fine. But it's another one that involves somebody else in it that might get hurt from it. That is selfishness. Do better.
Yeah, they finished. They never stopped. The hu the fiance saw us. He didn't stop. He kept doing what he was doing. Him and that guy was having fun, and they did not care, okay? So let me give you a little story time about what went down that whole entire day, just for context. So after we pull up at the house, and I saw her face facial expression, I knew then that she knew something that was going on, but she didn't inform me, and I feel like she wanted me to be there as a proof of what she would have witnessed. So after they passed us, from out of the room they went in the kitchen both of them was in the kitchen talking laughing and while my friend is just standing there historically crying her face off she went to the, the kitchen and she talked to the fiance and he really didn't acknowledge her at all he just was doing his thing and talking to the guy mind you this is a month before their wedding like a month before they walked down the aisle together my friend is the one with the money. She's rich. Her and her family, they have money. And I honestly felt like he just wanted to be with her for what he could gain because the dad was planning on giving him one of the businesses that they own to run. So he was in it for money and not for love. Me personally, I was mad at my friend only because I felt like she knew what was going on. And what if you would have put me in danger and not inform me of what the hell I'm walking myself into? But again, I kind of like put myself aside because she's going through all of this at the moment. And I was there for her. And I was so mad at the guy. I promise you, it took everything in me to not smash his face in the wall. To be honest, because he had no care. When I said no care, I mean no care. Like, okay, bitch, you find out what I'm doing. What are you going to do about it? You can't do nothing about it. That's the type of attitude that he was given. And I'm standing there like, are you going to call your mom? Are you going to call your dad? Are you going to call your brother? Are you going to do something? So she ended up calling her dad, and her dad showed up, and her dad called the cops. And when the dad called the cops, he was like, he's, he's literally said that he's not going to go anywhere. Like, the guy was like, I'm not going anywhere. I lived here. And keep in mind, the friend was still sitting down in the couch, y'all. He did not budge. He did not go anywhere. So this is something that they've been planned on doing to ruin her some way, somehow. I just don't understand why. Like, he still haven't given us an explanation to why did he do this to her. Like, nothing. So when the dad came, the dad was like, okay, you guys are going to have to pack up your shit and y'all going to have to move out of my daughter's house because this was her house. But again, by law here in Texas, if you're getting mailed or you live with somebody, you can't just put them out. So they end up going to court and she won the case and the guy, which is the friend, um, stayed here in Texas until the whole court thing was over from what she told me. And both of them moved back to California because that's where they came from. So from what she told me, he didn't say much to her or whatever while he was at the house, while the court stuff was going on. Like, he didn't give the dad or the family members any form of explanation why he did it to her. And if he was going to pay them back some of the money that they spent on the wedding, he didn't give them nothing. He just was just living here until the court order was over. And that's what he did. He moved back and left my friend in pain, hurt still suffering from it right till this day um she's with somebody that's amazing but again her trust issue was just like you know the damage that that caused because i've heard so many of you guys stories you guys have dm me and i'm reading all y'all dms and i'm just like shocked at how cruel some people can be like i am so so sorry from the bottom of my heart that you guys are experiencing things like this and the only thing I can say is that don't ignore the signs. Don't question what you see. Believe exactly what they're showing you and move on. Because you're putting your life at risk when you stay with people like that. So stay encouraged. That's just a little tea of the what happened to my friend. Um, if she wants to tell you guys more about the whole details, I will ask her and then maybe she can do a video and I will post it for her, but it's up to her. I can only give so much, you know? So yeah, I love you guys and stay blessed and be safe y'all.